Hey, do don't make it bad. Take a sad song and make it better. Remember to let it under your skin. Hey there, I'm David Cordero and welcome back to another Pass the Guitar Live Song Tutorials. And in this video, we'll cover Hey Jude by the Beatles. What a classic! And this song is packed with icon, what I consider to be the most iconic and well-known chorus ever written in the history of humans. Yes, I love it. I love the Beatles. And if you're here, you probably do as well. But hey, before we dive right in, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click on that bell so you can be notified right after we post brand new content in this channel. With no further ado, let's dive right in. First, let's go over those chords. We're going to be using D majors and D sevens. A majors and A sevens. We're also using G major, D over F sharp, E minor, and we're using also C majors. That's it for the chords, but before we move on, a disclosure, if you want to play along with the Beatles, you're going to have to use your capo on the third fret. And it will sound like this. But for the purpose of this video, as I always do, I'm not going to be using a capo because I want everybody watching to be able to follow along. Right, cool. Moving on to that strumming pattern. We're going to be using only one strumming pattern for this song, and it's this one. All right, first of all, let me go over and play it so you hear how it sounds and how I'm counting. One, two, e, a three, e, and four, one, two, e, a three. That's it. That's the strumming pattern. Let's listen to it with a chord. Let's use D major because D major is played over and over on this song. Here we go. One, two, E, and a three, E, and four, and one, two, E, and a three, E, and four, one, two, E, and a three, E, and four, and down, down, up, down, down, down. Before we move on to the next section and chapter of this video, let me just remind you that there's two exceptions to this because we do have some measures with two chords and we also have a measure with only two beats in this song. So the measures with two chords, we're going to split that strumming pattern right in the middle, half. So I'm going to use the measure where we play A and move to A7. It's a simpler transition so you can hear it. One. Two E and a three E and four and one. Two E and a three E and four. A A A A seven. Down down up down up down 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 up down up down down. And we're also gonna find a measure with D seven, but with only two beats. And for that measure, we're going to only use two quarter notes. One, two, one, two, 
And there is also a measure of A7 just playing the whole note, but that's pretty basic, straightforward. All you're gonna do is just play your set A7 and hold it for four counts. Now we have chords and strumming pattern. Let's take a look at the form. And in this song, we're gonna have verses and the chorus. That's it. This song is actually super simple when it comes to form because it doesn't have too many different parts. The verses are very similar to each other with very minor changes in between verse one, verse two, and verse three is the most different one because it's the shortest one. And in the chorus is that most iconic chorus ever. And then it gets repeated over and over. So let's take a look of the, uh, take a look at the three different verses that we have in this song and see the differences. So I wanted to pay attention to the first eight measures of verse one, it gets repeated. First eight measures, you do have a repeat sign. On verse two, the first eight measures don't get repeated. And then verse three, as you can see, there is no repeat. There is an extra measure of D major with a break at the end. And it doesn't have that second half of verses one and two. So, Let's cover first this first half of the verses, this first eight measures. And then we have, first of all, a full measure of D major, followed by a full measure of A major, followed by a full measure of A7, and then a full measure of D major. After that, we have a full measure of G major, followed by a full measure of D major. And then after that, a measure where we are gonna play A major for the first half and A7 for the second half. And then those eight bar phrase, that eight, eight bar phrase with a full measure of D major. So for first verse and second verse, the difference is that on first verse, you're gonna repeat those eight measures again before you move on to the second half. And then for the third verse, you're gonna have an extra measure of D. All right, now we know those eight measures, let's play it with the strumming pattern that we learned. One, two, E, and a, three, E, and four, and one. That's it. Those eight measures are the same for verse one, verse two, and verse three. Don't forget, verse three, we add an extra measure of D with a break. And it's this one here, take a look at it. It's just the strumming pattern cut off on the third beat with just a hit and a break on the fourth beat, a rest. So it sounds like this, one, two, and a three, rest, one, Rest. One, two, e, and a three. Rest. That's how you're gonna play that part of the ending. And after that measure, you go straight into the chorus. Before we move to the chorus, we have to cover that second half of verses one and two, which is also super iconic. So let's go over these. First, we have a full measure of D7 followed by a measure where you're gonna play G for the first half, D over F sharp for the second half, and E minor for the following measure, full measure. And then a full measure of A7, followed by a full measure of D major. And those five measures get repeated. And then after the repeat, we go to the two four measure, the measure with two beats of D7, but we're just gonna play two quarter notes, one, two. 
and then we have a full measure of A7, ending with another full measure of A7, but actually playing a whole note, and just letting it ring, and counting to four. All right, let's play this part with the strumming pattern we learned. One, two, E, and a three, E, and four. Minor one, two, eight, and a three, and four, a seven, one, two, eight, and a three, and four, D major one, two, eight, and a three, and four, D seven, going back to the beginning, two, eight, and a three, and four, G major one, two, eight, and a three, and four, one, two, eight, and a three. measure one, two, E, and a three, and two beats of D7, one, two, A7, two, E, and a three, and four, a full whole note, two, three, four. All right, that's it for the second half of verses one and two. That's literally what you need to know in order to play the verses of the song. Now, let's go to that chorus, that iconic and so famous chorus. All right, in the chorus, as you can see, we have a four bar phrase, starting with a full measure of D, followed by a full measure of C major. There we go, finally playing that C major, followed by a full measure of G, and ending that four bar phrase with a full measure of D. Let's dive right into plugging that strumming pattern and hearing that iconic chorus. One, two, E, and a three, E, and four, and one, two, E, and a three, E, and four, and one, two, E, and a three, E, and four, and one, two, E, and a three, E, and four, and one, two, E, and a three, E, and four. Yes, that's it. That's all you need to know in order to play Hey Jude by the Beatles. But hey, if you want to dive deeper into this song and get so much more, you know where to go. Head over to PassTheGuitar.live and join our wonderful communities, a community of learners, of peers, and you're gonna love it. I know for sure if you're watching these videos, you're gonna love everything else that you get by joining the community. My name is David Cordero, and you've been listening to Hey Jude by the Beatles. I'll see you on the next video. Nah.